guess here we go again. <laughs> this time I'm going to review Friday the 13th Part 2. They really... They really spent some energy <laughs> before they ran the opening credits. Uh, it was like a little... Um, little mini movie of the last movie. Uh, they took a lot of pieces of um, the first movie and kind of like did a backstory sort of thing and kind of brought you all up to date using it in kind of a dream sequence with the girl that survived from the last movie. And they're basically doing the first movie again. Uh, it's, it's, it, they, they're repeating themselves already and it's only the second movie so they uh, there's a, a camp a neighboring camp next to Crystal Lake uh, Camp Crystal Lake there's a neighboring camp and about five or six years have gone by is what they say but I would probably say it's more like ten if you're going based on Jason and the age when he died, and then the age when he was the last movie, and then where he's supposed to be. I'd say it's 10 to 15 years has gone by. But whatever, I'm not going to I'm not gonna nitpick too much here. Because I'm already doing that. But in this one, uh, of course, you have all these uh, camp, you know, uh, camp counselors that are coming in, and they're prepping for the, the upcoming... Um, camp session that's going to be and kind of get familiar with each other. A lot of them know each other. Some of them don't know each other. Uh, you've got a bunch of like little gaggy things in here where like a girl's car won't start and, and this guy like tinkers with it and then, you know, black smoke gets put in his face and he, he just blows it off like it's no big deal. I mean, just a bunch of like little stupid things throughout this whole thing. Uh, definitely teenagers that they, there's a lot of sex and, and they're really kind of into each other and stuff. And, um, they follow a lot of the typical, like horror film stuff, you know, uh, don't go in there and, and what are you doing? You know, run, don't just stand there and look around the corner and, and, um, never questioning things like things will happen like the one guy gets um hung up like a trap gets his feet get caught a trap and it pulls him up and they don't question really other than they who is this who did this why would they do this but that they didn't really go into depth on it she's like oh, i'll just go get a knife and then she's trying to get a knife and the power goes out and and i mean she just it, it's just so campy and so, I don't know. It's it's a fun watch. I really enjoyed watching it. It was a fun watch. It just, I don't know. And then yet again, we have a soul survivor. At least we assume. We assume there's a soul survivor. Um, there's, so J at the very end, Jason, um, at this point, has been demasked. So we can see what he looks like. Uh, most of the film, you don't really see him. He's just his feet and his shadows and that kind of stuff, his arm. But you don't really see him until the, towards the end. And anyways, he jumps through the window and grabs the girl. And next thing you see is her getting loaded into an ambulance. Well, the guy was with him before that. So there's a lot of missing pieces here that are supposed to be part of this cliffhanger to get you to watch the next one which don't really line up. It's not a very good cliffhanger because they kind of already did this cliffhanger sort of in the last one. So it is, I mean, it is what it is. It is Friday the 13th part two. So there you go, you guys. I did it. I reviewed another one. <laughs> we're going to, we're on a roll. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep doing these. So until next time, you guys, um, remember, subscribe, thumbs up, Comment down below, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll just see you next time. So, bye for now.